So it's uh it's a absolutely boring day of duck hunting. Haven't seen a duck really. Uh, it's a decent day though. It's 23 degrees out. It's October, which is rough. And uh, haven't seen a single duck. And uh, don't really want to go yet. So I put my phone precariously perched on a stump there, and uh, hoping that it doesn't blow over. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if it does, it's going right in the water, so it'll make for a pretty funny little deal if that's the case. But I've been working on a duck call for a while now. Um, all 3D printed one. Try and bring it in here for you. If you can't see that. This one's out of PETG. This is another design, PLA. This is a single reed, and then this one is a double reed. And you can see that it's a screw-in design, which I like a lot. Double reed with a dimple. I got a video about the dimple that I make. Uh, the dimpling jig or whatever. So it screws in like that. Haven't had any problem with the um, uh, deforming in the car yet, so it's kind of nice. This one's also a screw-in design right there. So, I don't know, I can blow it for you and uh, show you what it kind of sounds like. It's pretty deep. This is a traditional Echo Coca-Cola single reed, so this is not my design. So, sounds pretty much like a duck. Uh, real easy to blow when it's warm out uh, kind of a higher pitch flatter uh, doesn't trail off a lot this is my single uh, duct reprinted this is PLA plastic and it won't be as good as that I don't know why I started with that one probably should have ended with that one but... So a lot more deeper, uh, the notes don't cut as strong, kind of sounds like an old hen. Uh, that's a lot to do with tuning the reeds as well. I haven't really tuned the reeds much on this one. Uh, I kind of like a raspier call, I like a little bit more kind of broke up notes. So that's the single reed, it's a lot louder than the double reed. And you can really quack it really hard, which I like quite a bit. So then the double, a little harder to blow, doesn't get as good of a chuckle. I'm not the best duck caller in the world either, by the way. I'm not very good. Uh, I Especially since I moved back to the Midwest, I haven't called ducks at all pretty much any year. Because they get call shy after opening day. If you get a good flock of mallards in later in the year, uh, they get a little bit more receptive to calls but for the most part they're decoying call shy within a week because there's so many hunters and then also uh we've been freezing up so quick like i said it's 23 degrees right now in october and we're already getting ice on the small potholes so you just don't get a whole lot of duck season so it is what it is but so that being said I'm not the best caller in the world we'll try the double this is ptg and 23 degrees outside right now. So a lot more raspy. A uh, little easier to blow than the single reed. Uh, it doesn't cut as fast. You can tell like it doesn't cut off as fast. I tried to tune this one a little bit, but it's a little bit tough to do. Uh, it does sound pretty good. It does sound ducky. I like, like I said before, I like that raspiness. So, <laughs> sounds pretty good. I also add a lot of kind of deep tone to my voice sometimes too in duck calling. So, like even with this, this is that wooden. Coca-Cola Echo. So I add a lot of deepness sometimes. So yeah, you can change the tone a little bit. 
but you won't I haven't figured out how quite to get that to cut like the echo did the design of the reed in these I'm still working on to try and get it to cut these are a long reed comparatively to the echo so I think that has a lot to do with it the reeds quite a bit longer so it takes a little bit more air to blow in, and it takes a little longer for that reed to stop so I think that's kind of what's going on get that real high kind of tone with the echo you won't get that with these but yeah I, I like that real deep kind of old mallard hen they call it a lot of times uh -huh. so that's what's possible with the 3d printer um, still working on these still trying to figure them out I've actually done some different colors with these, two tones with a dual function, what is it called, multi-material printer, not Prusa, uh, A10M from G-Tech, but yeah, I'm still working on it to get it to where it is with the wood call, but I just want to show you guys these. It is starting to be duck season, well, about, apparently for us, we're over already, but a lot of people are, are starting on duck season and, and they're going to go into like January and stuff out west, so. I figured one day it'll get to this, but for now, I don't know, I don't mind the sound. Ducks don't seem to mind it either. If there were any, I, I would show you. Sounds pretty ducky to me, so leave a comment down below on anything you think I could improve with the design. Maybe somehow, like if you know why it's toned in the way it is, if you do have a recommendation, put it down in the comments below. If you did like the video, maybe like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I'm ever gonna sell these. Uh, I mean, they work and they're fun to make and stuff, so maybe, but you know, somewhere down the road, like everything else on this channel, just doing it for fun. So I hope you have a great, safe, and good duck season. And uh, till the next one, keep your amps up and your filament dry.